Hey, it's Miss Cole, and so today has been a pretty exciting day, all told. We went to the used bookstore, McKay's Books, and which not only has books, but all kinds of good things, and I got bunch of books for my classroom library, my side of the mountain, um, which I already have, but it's a little battered, so I got a, a newer copy, so it'll be in better condition. Um, some things that just I haven't actually read. I have read some Neil Shusterman, but things that looked like they would be um, hopefully interesting for my students. So a bunch more of those, and they also have games. So I actually found one. Do I have it in here? No, it's out. Uh, already packed up. Um, for uh, I found one that is a cooperative game. Really excited about that. And then, apparently today is National Cookie Day. So we stopped off at a cookie shop, the Chattanooga Cookie Company, which is not open yet. They're opening tomorrow. But they open up today to give out sample cookies. So we stopped there. And then I got home, packed to the porch shell. So thank you, those of you who are supporting uh, Adopt a Teacher and Clear the List and Clear the List 2022 and stuff like that. Now, let's find, so I know what this stuff is, but I don't know who has sent it to me, so I hope you put a note in. And these are kind of big boxes, so I'm pretty excited. And I'm being careful, also. Also, I do recycle the cardboard, because, well, I mean, because it's available, so I don't have like a, factory or nothing like that will actually do this. Hi, Tony. Don't be careful with scissors. Very important. Ah. Oh, <laughs> and inside the box. What's in the box? <laughs> Another box. But I also saw notes. A gift for you, it says. Oh. I hope this helps your class. Thank you, Matthew Thatcher. Yay! This is the spider ball game. Oh, I'm so stoked. Spider. Spider ball. So, um, this is like volleyball, except instead of a net where you hit the ball. Actually, I'm not entirely sure I need to do that. I hope this will work. I'm not just, because I have to have something I can put it in, right? Oh, God. oh gosh, it's glued shut. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Take it to school like this. Oh man. Okay, so instead of bouncing the ball over the net, you have a little trampoline and you have to bounce the ball on the trampoline and then a player from the other team has to hit it next and they have to bounce the ball back to your team. So um, what I like about this is you don't have to set the net up. Um, you just get this little trampoline out and I will probably be keeping that in the teacher workroom on top of the cabinets so that I don't have to like fold it up. Okay, so that opens. This over, here we go. Okay, I was trying to open the box the wrong way. Can't have that. All right, so. See, it has these and then it's got some holes and dear goodness, I hope, okay, good. It's like, please have some instructions. Whoop. Let's not ruin everything. Okay, so I'm not gonna get everything out and create a big mess because already I'm having trouble getting it back in there. Come on, please go back in there nicely. Okay, so. It looks like this. And then you just, you take the ball. Oh, it's got three balls. Oh, wow, so it's like kind of like Quidditch almost. I will be very interested to see how this works out. Can we do this without students hitting each other and getting injured and Miss Cole getting in trouble? So next we have the other one. And uh, I told my husband about this one and he said, wait, you're going to have your students throwing a bolus? Like, are you sure about this? And I said, well, now that you put it that way, no, I'm not sure, I'm not sure about this. But we're gonna give it a try, y'all. I mean, they're old enough to know that if they throw the ball at each other, and then that's not good. Whether or not you actually injure anybody. No, no, this is not. Oh, good. Okay, so this one has, the other one just had a cardboard box that was kind of clean. 
So, hopefully. Woo! Okay. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm supposed to do that. Okay. <laughs> I thought I broke it. Okay, here we go. Woo! Alright, so this one's got a nice, brightly colored box inside the box. Classic ladder toss. Okay, so yeah. Oh, another one. Here's a note. Nope, that's just what it is. Is this a note? Aha! Uh-oh. This one just says, enjoy your gift. Who's it from? I don't know. It doesn't say. I know it's not Santa Claus, because that's not for a few months yet. Okay. Actually, about half the year. So, it looks like this. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Um, and so, the it's... They're a, a ball on each end of a string. And so you fling it and you want the string to loop over the ladder. And I think you can kind of see that they're, it looks like it's orange, green, and blue. So they're, I think they're different scores for having it land on the different rungs of the ladder, I'm guessing. Um, but I'm, now, that, now that it's been presented to me that having students, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be really tempting for them to like, Fling it at each other. Hopefully they're not watching this also now that I've said it and I'm putting this out on the internet. Anyway, I'm really excited to see how this works out. <laughs> and um, also it's really good that I'm getting this this year because there's a teacher shortage. So if my students do fling the balls at each other and I get in trouble, they're probably not gonna fire me. So bonus. <laughs> anyway, um, Hopefully I can get some pictures of students using it and I'll also like post those on social media and stuff. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And um, teachers, if you have uh, an Amazon wish list or donor trees projects, you can message me on Twitter or Facebook and I would absolutely love to promote those for you or you can leave it in a comment. You know, I love comments. So yeah, I go back on Monday y'all and students come back on Thursday and my daughter asked me today if I was excited. I'm like, no, looking forward to it, but I'm kind of excited. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It really, really means a lot to know that people are supporting what I do. And it's, it's not just, oh, teachers are great, but that you want to do something for my students and my style of teaching. That just really means a lot. Thank you so much. Bye for now.